Hello YouTube's Grosama, and here I have for you today is the high grade Gundam The Origin Mobile Suit Discovery Full Armor Heavy Gundam. Now I actually had this in a master grade form back in the day, it was a P Bandai, but I went ahead and sold it uh, because I just was not feeling it, I didn't really want to build it, uh, primarily because it was based off a very very old RX-78 frame, I think it was the 1.5 if I'm not mistaken, um, but I just I was not feeling it, I didn't really want it in my collection, so I sold it and sure, like lo and behold, uh, they actually announced this one, which is basically the uh, North American type, uh, or, you know, local type, and I, I just, I love that type of you know rx78 like um i have pretty much just the fsd version uh i, I don't have the uh, the north american type yet but just building the fsd i i just i was blown away by the overall details so um i'm pretty excited to go ahead and build this all right and looking at the front cover uh looks pretty good i mean it's gonna be all in like this like grayish color so um, you know that's pretty much how the uh, P Bandai line is just very normal color but the front box art looks pretty cool um, you know it's basically him just kind of like leaning back and then firing uh, the little missiles now this is 100% the model um, a, a lot of times they, they don't you know actually post the model as far as I know like it, they usually have like a CG rendering of the mobile suit um, as far as like the front covers but you can just tell, like they still have the little safety nubs right here on the top. Um, looks like there's a there's like no indication of like covering the seam line right here. Um, so this just looks 100% like they just took the model, took a picture of it, put a little like hue on the back, like on the outside, like a little kind of like uh, outline, like a white outline, and just placed a little background in the in the foreground. So yeah, that's kind of lazy. And this did come out in 2018. I actually believe it came out in May, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, if not May, then it came out in April. And then we ain't got really much on the sides, just kind of like your normal uh, standard stuff. Now it does say retails for 2,200, uh, but you're probably not gonna find this for any less than like 40 bucks. Uh, but if you can find it for around 40 bucks or maybe even a little cheaper, I would probably recommend it uh, just because I, I have not even built this, but it is based off the origin line and that's a great line in itself. And here's everything that is going to come with. Okay, so the first thing I wanna take a look at is just some of the older runners. Um, so this, I don't think, I don't know what exactly this runner is uh, from because it doesn't have a year or anything on it. Uh, but I, I can't read Japanese, but I do think this is from the FSD. If not, I think it's from the, uh, the North American type. I, I don't remember which one actually had the orange, uh, but this is basically just going to be the face. And then you're also gonna have a clear red piece right here. Uh, now this just says Origin MSD Gundam, or just Origin uh, MSD Mobile Suit. Uh, so I'm pretty sure this is just universal for all the, uh, the Origin RX-78 kits. And then here is basically the shield. Uh, this is the shield from the um, um, FSD version, so uh, I think that that's all I did was just pull the shield from that one. Uh, all it does say is Origin MSD mobile suit, so I'm pretty sure this is just a universal shield, uh, but I do remember getting this with um, the FSD. All right, next is going to be some inner frame stuff. So uh, this all all this is basically from um, I, I'm pretty sure most of the other um, Origin kits. So. Looks like it's just, I mean, once again, it all says Origin MS. Uh, I would have to go and do some research to see exactly if these are universal, like if, if all the like North American local types and all that uh, essentially had these, you know, the same kind of runner, um, which I'm pretty sure they did, but just want to uh, definitely double check. All right, now we're taking a look at all the uh, new runners for this actual kit, which is, you know, quite a few to be honest. It's, uh, I think, about pretty much double uh, what the actual amount is. So this is uh, runner A, and it's going to have some new little armor. Uh, it's going to have a new little chest piece. I have not seen that uh, before with any of the other ones. Uh, looks like some of the other parts might be the same. I don't know if the feet are the same, but they kind of look it. Um, these are going to be some of the leg parts, which those look the same as well. But the main the main focus here is going to be the giant, I don't know if it's like a beam machine gun or, or what. Like, I mean... It's definitely like a, um, a somewhat mini gun because I mean it has all these little um, chambers. So and it, ha oh, it has little rockets right there. I'll definitely paint those um, as well. So there's definitely a lot going on with this. Uh, looks like the waist might be a little different. That's, it looks a little different to me. Uh, but overall, this is runner A and it looks pretty nice. 
All right, next we're gonna get runner B1 and B2. So this is essentially going to be right here, uh, this little part right there. So let's just go ahead and take a look at runner B1. Uh, this looks like more parts for the uh, the giant heavy weapon, uh, some parts for the front armor skirts. Uh, looks like uh, some parts for the feet, all the legs are gonna be down here. You do have the V fin. Um, Overall, I mean, it looks pretty nice. I like this. It's like it's not brown like the uh, the old you know Master Gray was. It kind of looks more. It's like a very. It's a, it's a lighter black. Uh, but overall, I think it looks fantastic. And uh, this kit is definitely going to get some nice weathering done to it. And the last runner we're going to get is basically stuff for uh, looks like thrusters right up here. And then this is going to be uh, the shoulder mounted cannon right here. Uh, and this is just going to be a. Um, basically a hand beam rifle uh, other than that it looks pretty good um, but yeah this is another unique uh, runner so I don't think the the shoulder can is too different than the other ones uh, I could be definitely mistaken but uh, could be the same but this is definitely a more unique uh, beam rifle you are also gonna get a very large polycap sheet two beam sabers very very few stickers but that's gonna get painted anyways and you can get this nice little sticker sheet. So, uh, although I'm more partial to water slides, um, to be honest, like I'm not gonna order a separate water uh, water slide sheet uh, just for this mobile suit. As much as I do like it, I'm gonna put some work into it. Uh, I'd rather just go ahead and use the sticker sheet. I don't, I don't really care to be honest. So, uh, I'll definitely be using these. And then last, let's go ahead and take a look at the runner. So this is pretty cool. Uh, basically just gonna show you where all the decal placement is right there. Uh, then open it up, it kinda just you know throws you right into the mix. So you you know pretty much have the, uh, the body all right here. Um, pretty much do, oh, you go straight into the shoulder mounted uh, cannon. That's pretty unique. Uh, then the head right there, then you go into the waist. And then on this side, you go into the arms right there. Flip this over, you go into the legs, the other leg. Uh, pretty much assemble it. You got the beam sabers, the flame launcher. I guess that's what it's called. So flame launcher. It's kind of odd because doesn't it shoot like like it's like a beam Gatling gun, but whatever. Uh, then you also get the special beam rifle. So it's not just a beam rifle; it's special. And then you also get a nice little shield right there. And I don't think there's anything else on the other side. Yeah, so there's nothing really um, spectacular. That's just kind of like the parts list right there. But overall, guys, uh, this is going to be the next. Uh, build as far as something that's outside of um, Frame Arms Girls and anything else I've been building. Uh, so this is just essentially the next Gundam that will be built and reviewed. Um, I should be able to get this done by Friday. Um, I'm, I'm actually praying I can get it done by Thursday. Uh, but no no main kits that I'm buying is coming out this weekend, this upcoming weekend. Um, so I'll be able to build this and I'll start working on one of the projects I have uh, in store for you. Uh, other than that, guys, that's it. Uh, we're very, 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 very close to three, uh, not 3,000, well, to 5,000 subscribers and I uh, just want to remind you guys once we do hit that 5,000 mark um, there's definitely going to be a special announcement and uh, just some overall updates with the channel uh, that will be launching at that point so that's it guys definitely thank you for watching thanks for subscribing uh, subscribing <laughs> uh, hit that bell for future notifications and I'll be seeing you in the next video see you later